Hello box word, we're going to box in block center. Well I've been reading some comments on social media platforms including Twitter on Instagram on YouTube on Facebook everywhere about the resemblance or Similarity between Ethia Jabba and Deonta Water. And uh, I want to give my thoughts on that as well. Does Ethia Jabba and Deonta Water look alike? No, they don't. They've got different um, features. But they do possess one thing in particular. Which is one knockout power. If a jugway like guy hits you, you feel it right from your testicle. <laughs> <laughs> and due to water, we already know the guy is a windmiller, but his right hand is devastating, is a thunderous. And both of those guys right now have got one thing in common, which is the one knockout power. In fact, people were saying that his power hasn't been hasn't been tested yet. Listen, if a Jabba has been knocking guys out in sparring, okay. If you spar with F a Jabba, be ready to to collect something, okay. Some thunderous right hands, some thunderous hands, and I would really like to see if a Jabba go against Luis Ortiz. Imagine if a Jabba fight Luis Ortiz. In his seventh professional fight, and beat him, his career will, you know, we just blow a whistle all over the world. But Ahima will not allow that. Ahima is a guy who always protects his fathers. And uh, yeah, I think if you're about to think twice, I mean, think twice about your career because don't become like the until you listen. First of all, you're a Nigerian, okay? You be Nigerian guy, you know, be American. These people, they don't see you become a superstar for their country. You understand? So you would need to self promote. Obviously, get your good thoughts in their heart. Like promote. Obviously, go, it go, it go, it go carry you up. It go promote you well. Because uh, him and I advise not be promoter. We don't want to see the underwater number two. I don't want to see the uh, Jagba uh, fighting 40 bombs, you know, before he fights someone. I want to see him in a very good, tough, not what class opposition, but tough opponents, okay? I know he's got the power to be anyone. I know he's got the technique to be even the underwater. He's already thinking twice about Fred Jagba. He knows that Fred Jagba is the future. Fred Jagba is still very young, 24 years old, and he's got that monstrous power. But, you know what, in boxing, things can happen. Izu Gono was supposed to be the new Deontay Water, but he got beaten by, by them in Brazil. Brazil just was more experienced, and if a jab by my opinion against Brazil would be interesting matchup. I would like to see that. I would love to see that. So, uh, if a jab by six five, why don't you order six seven, right? And the Joshua is six six. So, both of those guys. All these three, these three guys have something in common. You know what I mean? So, the difference between 
enter Joshua and the Unto Warriors then to Joshua is a better boxer. If a Jabba now is a better boxer than the Unto Water, you know, but he still needs to master his technique, you know. He's a guy that come forward, he's a guy that can defend. We saw him at the Olympics and during the Olympics my guy nearly killed someone, okay? Oh boy, that guy he they got the guy he be killed someone. Gotta be finished that guy. Don't lie you. Man, <clears throat> it won't by that guy <laughs> with one punch. So, if a job is the future, in my opinion, so I don't see any similarity between him and Dune to Water apart from the right hand. And uh, yeah, after the before, he needs a better promoter, and the end should go for him. This time, not when he becomes, you know, relevant. I don't see Eddie Hearn, I don't want to see Eddie Hearn, you know, chasing a guy that's not relevant. I want to see him chasing him now, because this guy is a good prospect, okay? A danger to the heavyweight division. And Martin Bacoli, Martin Bacoli is also the future. That guy, Joshua, tipped him as the future world champion. So, Martin Bacoli against Efajaba would be thunderous. I've not seen much of ba Ma Martin Bacoli. I've only seen a couple of fights of his. But I've been hearing rumors that the guy is very durable. He's a strong man. Although he doesn't look so athletic like Efe Jabber or John Water or Anthony Joshua. But he's got balls, man. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think Efe Jabba is the second coming of John Water? Or do you think they are both different fighters? Or do you think they have one thing in common, which is the right hand? Just give it to us below what you think about it, guys. Like the video. Share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Please, don't forget. Subscribe. Cheers, everyone.